What is the biggest number? In the time of Archimedes, numbers had to be described with names because our system of writing with a zero digit was over a thousand years away before it would arrive in Europe. At the time, the biggest number was a myriad, what we would call 10,000. Archimedes had bigger aspirations than that. Archimedes believed that everything could be described and understood using mathematics, which was going to require a much bigger number than 10,000. So he came up with a new system to write bigger and bigger numbers. He started by counting numbers of myriads. One myriad, two myriad, all the way up to a myriad of myriads. And then he started counting multiples of myriad myriads up until there was a myriad myriad of myriad myriads. It's cumbersome, but it's systematic. And this way, Archimedes was able to write down a number bigger than any human before him. His goal was to tame the seemingly infinite universe and prove that no matter how big reality might be, he could build up a number large enough to count anything within it. To prove this, he set about calculating how many grains of sand would fit in the universe. But he used very small grains of sand, a fraction of a millimeter each. And at every step, he assumed the biggest number possible. If there was any uncertainty, Archimedes, for the sake of safety, would round up to the biggest possible value it could be. His goal was not a precise measurement of how big the universe was and how much sand could fit in it. His goal was to show no matter how big that number was, no matter how big the universe may be, it can be described mathematically with a number.